Recently, astronomers from Africa and China discovered a brand new comet that has what it takes to become the first great comet since Hale-Bopp. Originating from the Oort cloud, this lump of snow and ice flies slowly in the direction of the sun. The recently found comet is hurtling directly towards our planet and has the potential to outshine even the most brilliant stars in the sky. In 2024, we will get the chance to see it and it is likely to become the most luminous celestial object in the night sky, and there's a chance it may even be visible in broad daylight. Join us today as we find out more about this upcoming celestial event. Be sure to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. On the night of February 22, 2023, a robotic asteroid and comet early warning system based in South Africa known as ATLAS made the discovery of a new comet. ATLAS is engineered to identify near-Earth asteroids well in advance and provide warnings in the event of potential threats. If the system detects a celestial body, whether it be a chunk of rock or ice nearing Earth, it rapidly calculates its trajectory. If it determines that a comet or asteroid is on a course to closely approach or collide with Earth, it immediately triggers an alarm. However, Atlas not only issues alarms, but also records all comet and asteroid discoveries, even when they pose no danger to our planet. When it was initially detected, this new comet was located at a distance 7.3 times farther from Earth than the Sun. The Purple Mountain Observatory in China, also known as Tsuchinshan, independently spotted the same comet. The timing of their discoveries overlapped, with China registering the comet's presence on January 9, 2023. To honor both discoverers, the comet was given the name Tsuchinshan Atlas. Its precise scientific name is even more complex, being referred to as Comet C 2023A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas. The method for naming comets and asteroids adheres to a well-defined structure. It commences with a prefix signifying the nature of the celestial object. In this instance, the C prefix designates a non-periodic comet with an orbital period of more than 200 years, potentially featuring an irregular orbit. Following the prefix is the year of its discovery, which in this case is 2023. The alphanumeric combination that follows signifies the timing of the discovery, with each month split into two alphabetical portions. For example, letter A corresponds to the first half of January, B to the second half, C to the first half of February, and so forth. The accompanying number indicates the sequence of discovery within that time frame. Additionally, the name of the observatory or telescope responsible for the discovery can be included. Consequently, C 2023A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas signifies that it's a non-periodic comet, the third object jointly discovered by Tsuchinshan and Atlas during the first half of January 2023. Initially, this object was believed to be an asteroid, but subsequent observations conducted at the Palomar Observatory in California revealed a dense composition and a short tail, confirming its classification as a comet. Based on its orbital trajectory, this comet is estimated to have an orbital period of approximately 80,000 years. In March 2023, the comet was positioned between the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn. Since that time, it has been steadily approaching Earth at a speed of 29,644 km per hour. At the moment of its discovery, the comet was approximately 1.1 billion kilometers away from our planet. It will be more than a year before it approaches the Sun, where it will swing around it and then head back towards the outer boundaries of our solar system. The closest point to the Sun, known as perihelion, will occur on September 27, 2024, placing it at roughly the same distance as Mercury, just 58 million kilometers from the Sun. Under the influence of the Sun's gravitational forces, the comet will alter its course and subsequently move away. Following this phase, Comet Suchinchin Atlas will pass relatively near to Earth, reaching its closest point on October 13, 2024. The comet's proximity to the Sun can lead to a momentary increase in luminosity by a significant 17 orders of magnitude. 
This phenomenon arises as the comet's materials absorb, emit, or interact with sunlight. The burning question is of course whether or not the comet will collide with Earth. Fortunately, current orbital calculations provide assurance that the comet will maintain a safe distance from our planet. Nonetheless, this celestial visitor has the potential to transform into a truly unforgettable spectacle, as its heightened brilliance might elevate it to the ranks of the next great comet, offering us a spectacle that is certainly not an everyday occurrence. Presently, scientists are engaging in speculation regarding whether this comet will earn the esteemed title of a great comet. These notable comets stand out as some of the most brilliant in their category, often gracing Earth with their presence visible to the naked eye. In the past, select large comets have displayed such extraordinary luminosity in proximity to our planet that they've become easily discernible during daylight and twilight hours. We will remain in suspense until the autumn of 2024, as numerous uncertainties envelop this new celestial visitor hailing from the outskirts of the solar system. The closer the comet gets, the more we will know. Since Comet E3ZTF, many people are wondering when the next brightly shining celestial object will captivate us with its radiance. The comet dubbed the Green Comet graced the night sky from late 2022 to early 2023, and such an ancient atlas has the potential to outshine it. Even the most optimistic predictions dare to suggest that it might become the most radiant comet in quite a while. There are even rumors that this comet may finally be a really big comet for the first time since 1997. Really big meaning luminous and radiant, like hale -Bob which captivated us with its luminous display for nearly 18 months in 1997. Currently, such an ancient atlas is still so faint that it can only be seen through large telescopes, and that's not likely to change much in the coming months. So unless you have access to a high-power telescope, you'll have to be patient until the comet becomes more visible to you. Starting on October 29th, it will appear in the constellation Sextans, then move on to Virgo, the serpent's head and the serpent bearer. If the comet behaves as expected, it should become visible to small telescopes in early summer 2024. Later this year in 2023, it could even be visible for a short time with the naked eye or through binoculars just before sunrise, low in the east. Whether it will already show the typical tale of comets at that time is still uncertain. Predictions about comet behavior are difficult. It is clear among experts that it's almost impossible to say for sure what will happen. All we can do is wait patiently for the approach of this celestial visitor and be ready for a surprise. Such an ancient atlas originates from the Oort Cloud, a spherical collection of rocks, asteroids, and comets. Remarkably, the Oort Cloud exists beyond the outermost limits of our solar system and lies outside the Sun's outermost atmosphere known as the heliosphere. However, it remains an integral part of our solar system. Periodically, gravitational disturbances caused by passing stars or the rotational dynamics of the Milky Way can dislodge these icy objects from their stable positions within the Oort cloud, propelling them toward the heart of our solar system. Some comets eventually retrace their path to the outer reaches of the solar system, while others embark on orbits within the inner region that may persist for many years, even millennia. During this journey, they repeatedly approach the sun, either influenced by its gravity or repelled by it, before continuing their journey and occasionally being captured and recaptured by other heavenly bodies like planets or the asteroid belt. Initially, the comet's eccentricity indicated that it was following a parabolic orbit, suggesting it had never ventured close to the sun before. While this might seem less promising for the prospect of a brilliantly shining comet, it implies that its surface likely harbors highly volatile substances like frozen nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. When this icy comet moves far from the sun, it can experience a brief surge in luminosity, temporarily raising hopes for a magnificent comet. However, this initial increase is typically followed by a significant decrease in brightness. But if current calculations are indeed accurate, the comet is actually on an elliptical orbit, signifying that it is most likely a recurrent visitor to our solar system. 
Such comets have shed their outer layers during previous encounters with our system. Hale-Bopp, for instance, also travels along an elliptical path, completing a circuit every approximately 4,200 years. Another example is Comet Arn Roland, which arrived from the Oort cloud in the spring of 1957. Despite being a first-time visitor and carrying materials on its surface that could have hindered its luminosity, it put on a breathtaking display, reaching the brilliance of a grand comet and boasting a luminous 30 degrees tail directed toward the sun. In 2007, Comet McNaught, another visitor from the Oort cloud, dazzled observers with a spectacular display, featuring such a remarkably extensive tail that it was briefly visible next to the sun during the day. So we can look forward to the comet Suchinchin Atlas hopefully putting on a similar show for us next year. We are interested to hear your thoughts about this newly discovered comet. Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.